Joining us now is Tom Perez, senior advisor to President Biden and assistant to the president and director of the Office of Intergovernmental Affairs. Tom, I, I thank you. You, know, you and I have known each other for so for so long. Yes, we have. Um, I know that that you were there. You went uh, to Baltimore, a, a place, a, a state and a city that you know so well, and and you met with yeah. the families uh, uh, of mm -hmm. of these uh, men. Uh, how are they doing today? Mm. Oh, it's so hard. You know, the, the woman you just referenced there, that was Bertali. Um, and uh, she was inconsolable, and I understand it. You know, the most fundamental right any worker has when they go to work is to come home safe and sound. And, uh, and they didn't. Uh, and I, I didn't sleep well last night. And, 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 and my issues pale in comparison to what they are going through. Uh, one person kept saying, you know, one, one spouse kept saying, you know, solamente quiero el cuerpo, el cuerpo, el cuerpo. Um, you know, I just want his body. Um, and I understand that. And, and so does the president. Um, you know, the president instructed us from the moment we learned about this uh, roughly 48 hours ago uh, to move heaven and earth to help everyone. And our first uh, job here is the search and recovery. And, and as your reporting correctly noted, yesterday was a horrible weather day, and today isn't much better. And notwithstanding mm -hmm. that those first responders were there, they were able to remove uh, and identify two of the bodies. But, you know, we still wait uh, for the remaining four. Uh, we, we are moving heaven and earth. Um, there's a heavy lane uh, uh, a heavy lift crane vessel that will be there later today to help with the debris. Um, but we're also incredibly sensitive to the notion that this is also um, the resting place for four fathers, for four brothers, for four um, yeah. sons. And, uh, and so the humanity of the moment is still something very much on Governor Moore's mind, yeah. and he's been doing a great job. And, President Biden and all our local partners in Baltimore County and Baltimore City. Yeah, I'm just thinking, Tom, of the, again, thinking back of the years that you and I have known each other. I remember being, yeah. you know, with you in, in Las Vegas when we, yeah. when we spoke to and learned from so many uh, yeah. people from our community. And, and I just yeah. think, Tom, it, it, it's so easy for people to forget or not even know about what our community does, yeah. how our community um, yeah. contributes enormously to yeah. our country. And, and, and these, are, these are people who went to work on that night shift on that bridge to fix potholes and, and yet, as yeah. you said, never return. And I'm just thinking, is there something, yeah. Tom, that you think we could do not only to support these families, but also yeah. to help illustrate the extraordinary, yeah. extraordinary yeah. work and efforts yeah. of our community. You know, um, as Lynn Manuel Miranda has correctly said many times, immigrants, we get the job done. And that was what we saw um, the night before, or last couple nights ago. The, 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 the six uh, people who perished, the two others who uh, survived, you know, this is America. The, the immigrants. Um, you know, repairing potholes. Uh, you know, I've spoken to so many um, farm workers in California and elsewhere. Uh, you know, and, and when I hear about candidates who say, I want to send everyone home, um, I wish you could sit down with people and understand um, the value here. Uh, here in Maryland, immigrants are not only, you know, repairing potholes and uh, doing other service jobs. They are our doctors, they are our teachers, they are our uh, first responders. Um, and we have such a rich tradition. In 1900, the port of Baltimore was the second largest port of entry for immigrants after Ellis Island. Maryland has a proud history of welcoming immigrants, uh, and we will continue to do that. Um, as, a, as a Maryland resident, um, I feel this loss, um, it's a gut punch. It's a gut punch for the president. It's a gut, gut punch for these families. And, and we're going to do our level best to make sure we, we help them, to make sure that we take care of them, and to make sure that the search and rescue operations continue 
and, and that we move forward. That's the president's directive. Move heaven and earth to help everyone, and yeah. we're going to continue and to work closely with the governor and all Tom, of our other there, partners. Tom, is there something that federal government could do, White House, et cetera, to help facilitate, for example, I presume that that the families of these of these men in Mexico, Honduras, um, yeah. Guatemala w would like to come here yeah. at least for you know a short yes. period of time to be in the mourning process. Is there something that mm -hmm. yeah. you guys are thinking about helping on that yeah. front? Oh, I, I again, I asked yesterday uh, of the families, what can we do? Um, a number of them asked about whether uh, relatives could come in, and there's a. There is a parole process, humanitarian parole, where people are able to come in for uh, a limited period of time uh, for reasons exactly like this. And so um, we're, we're, we're uh, continuing to work with those families, and uh, we're trying to address all of their needs, and we're going to continue to do this. This is just a, a horrific tragedy for um, yes. these families and our communities. And, and, and I so appreciate you, Jose. Uh, because, Jose, you, you understand. You and I have had these conversations. Um, you know, para nuestra comunidad, you know, familia es todo. You know, family is yep. everything. Yep. And uh, that's why this yep. is so sad. Y, y como decía esa señora, pido a Dios que, que encuentre en su cuerpo. And that uh, wife was asking of her husband, please find his body. Tom, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate everything that you're doing. I really think yeah. that it was important that you were there, and, and, I, and mm -hmm. I'm grateful for that. Thanks oh, for being thank with Thank you, my friend. Time. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.